when the entire world is fighting over the power and politics amid all these circumstances india emerged as a ray of hope and that's why raisina dialogue has been designed and at least we are talking about the contest conflict and cooperation hello friends welcome to the in new series of drishti is i am ritu and today's session is about raisina dialogue 2024 and this session is reported for your gs2 perspective moving towards the points of discussion part first of all we are going to discuss the news then we are going to discuss a brief about raisina dialogue and then theme and also that who are going to attend this year and also practice question for prelims and before that you have to like share and subscribe to the drishti is channel and one more update for you is that on 28th march by 8 am onwards we can see that drishti is is starting its english medium uh, courses and you can uh, watch out there if you have any queries you can visit to the drishti is website moving to the another slide which is about the news so what is the news so from 21st feb to 23rd feb so this will be the time period we can see the ninth edition of raisina dialogue is going to happen and today is the 21st feb we can see that a ninth dialogue of raisina dialogue is going to happen and who is the chief guest is this time so we have the greek prime minister whose name is kyriakos mistaskios he is the chief guest of this ninth edition of raisina dialogue so this is the brief news we are going to discuss in today's session moving to the that what is the raisina dialogue so raisina dialogue has been designed in the year 2016 and the first edition we can see in the 2016 and this is the ninth edition of 2024 and it is what you can say a multilateral uh, organization where come and where they discuss about different uh, world emerging situation and what are the topics which are emerging and which needs to have a discussion between all the countries and this also shows a very positive side of india when entire world is fighting and alleging over the various economic and political tensions but in such situation india invites the people from the different countries bureaucrats media persons the prime minister presidents to talk about the problems and to find out the solution so this is the brief about the raisina dialogue that it is a multilateral meeting and you can also call as a intergovernmental meeting where the world's emerging issues are discussed which are essential for the discussion for the development of the world for the welfare of the people so that's why this raisina dialogue has been designed and it also puts india into a powerful position and also as a world leader where people are not talking about their problems so through this dialogue the india and all the world leaders try to find a solution so this is a brief about the raisina dialogue and they are basically dedicated for the geopolitical issue and geo economic issues and where it has been held so it is held in new delhi every year and who are the participants so the people from the political business media civil society backgrounds come and attend this raisina dialogue and uh, there are multi stakeholders into this the sectoral discussion involving the states cabinet minister local government officials so they are the multi stakeholders who conduct such meetings and also there is a independent think tank organization whose name is observer research foundation along with the ministry of external affairs they conduct this raisina dialogue so this is a brief intro about the raisina dialogue and whenever in the prelims examination if there will be the question that who is the independent think tank so the name is orf which is observer research foundation so you should not forget this name moving to the next one so next slide is about that what is the theme of this year so we have the major theme which is the chaturang and you need to know the uh, points of the chaturang that what are the key words of the chaturang because maybe in examination time they will give words from the sea but maybe these words would not be there so you need to know the exact wordings of the chaturang so the first word is the conflict second is the contest then cooperate and create and as you know that why this theme has been designed because right now we can see that world so many countries are had developed their conflict and also the contest and we need more cooperation and we need to more create focus on the creation we need to focus on the 
innovation. So that's why these all forts had been taken according to the today's world economic scenario, today's world political scenario. Coming to the other sub parts that what are the sub themes where the discussion should be held. So the six thematic pillars we have, the first is the tech frontiers regulations and realities. The second is peace with the planet invest and innovation and also war and peace armories and asymmetries decolonizing the multilateralism institution and inclusion. The post-2030 agenda, people and progress and the sixth is defending democracy, society and sovereignty. So, we can see that these six themes are very much important and these themes must be discussed because we can see that right now every country is keeping the weapons and they are using illogically. So, we need to have discussion on to this thing and also we need to have discussion on innovation, the demand of the weapons, the science and technology. And also peace with the planet because so much is happening, climate change issues are happening, uh, people are uh, killing each other, the countries have become enemy to each other. So we need peace with our planet and also regulations and realities tech frontiers. So we have to also develop the tech frontiers because today technology is the need of the time. So every country must develop their technological advancement and then the most important Defending democracy, society and sovereignty right now we can see that many times the countries are taking the step which seems to be as a uh, mockery of the democracy and India is a democratic country and India needs to have discussion on that there should not be the mockery of the democracy and we need to preserve this ideal in order to preserve the world. So these are the themes which are the need of the hour. Moving to the next slide. Next slide is about that who will attend. So, around 2500 participants are expected to attend and they are still attending because conference and dialogue is going on and uh, so uh, it will be streamed on the various digital platforms. So, million people will watch this Raisina dialogue programs and so many ministers from the other countries, prime ministers, former prime ministers, tech savvy people, digital people, uh, creative people. So, all the people are invited. Uh, to attend this dialogue in order to make it more diverse and to have discussion on various fronts. So, these are the participants of this time. So, moving to the next slide. Next slide is about the practice question for prelims and the question is very simple. When did Raisina dialogue start? Because many times you will get this confusion that Raisina dialogue has been started uh, just after the independence. So, you need to know the timing that what is the development, what is the development area, when India thought that there should be the rise in a dialogue, why India thought so, will it give a strategic importance to the India in a world economic scenario. So, from that situation, it is very important to know that when a particular dialogue or a particular conference has been started and who has been initiated, what is the theme we have. So, this thing is very much important for your prelims examination. I hope you like this session. If you have any queries related to this session, kindly ask in the comment section. And the PDF of this session is available on Telegram, so do watch there. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.